me, Charmin Shazwani, and my friend, Shazana, Nuraini, and Riza want to present about paracetamol suppositories. Introduction. Suppositories are a solid dosage form of medicament for insertion into the body cavities other than mouth. Preparation designed for insertion into rectum, vagina, or nasal cavity where they melt, dissolve, or disperse and either a local or a systemic effect. Suppositories is intended to have systematic or local effect drug on drug intended to have local action on rectum or large intestine sites. Rectal delivery system. Suppositories are dosage forms inserted into body cavities, most commonly the rectum, to deliver drugs to the systemic circulation or local tissue. Drug delivery via the rectum is a useful alternative route of administration to the oral routes for patients who cannot swallow. Traditional rectal dosage forms have been historically used for localized treatments, including delivery of laxatives, treatment of hemorrhoids, and for delivery of antipyretics. Who needs to use suppositories? The drug you are taking will break down too quickly in your digestive tract if you took it as a pill or liquid. Second, you cannot swallow medicine. Third, you are vomiting and cannot keep a pill or liquid down. Last, at the medicine test, too bad to take by mouse. Drug effect. First, local effect. Example active ingredients are astringent, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antibiotic, Antermintic, local anaesthetic, vasoconstrictor, colistic, soothing, and protective agent. Second, systemic effect. Example, anti-asthmatic, anti-traumatic, analgesic drug. Analogy and physiology of rectum. The rectum is supplied by the superior rectal artery middle rectal artery and inferior rectal artery. The limb vessel goes along the veins which is why proximal rectal carcinoma metastasis preferably to the liver where distal rectal carcinoma rather metastasis to the lung. The sympathetic innervation is carried by the inferior mesenteric places. The parasympathetic innervation by the pelvic splenic nervous and the inferior hypogastric places. Mission of drug obsession is a passive division process. Mission involves first, suppository will meet and dissolve on the mucus layer. Second, water is attracted by osmotic effect from the body to dissolve the suppository vehicle or base. Third, drug will diffuse out tower the rectal membranes then start dissolving in the rectal fluid. Lastly, the dissolved drug will diffuse through the mucus layer then into the through the epithelium from mean the rectal wall. Definition Suppository are solid, single dose preparation designed for insertion into the rectum, vagina or urethra where they melt, soften or dissolve, disperse at body temperature and exert a local or systemic effect. It may contain one or more active drugs, disperse or dissolve in a suitable basis that may be soluble or dispersible in water, body fluids, or may melt 
at body temperature. The excipients that may be added are diluents, adsorbents, surface active agent, lubricants, antimicrobial, preservative, and coloring matter. The uses. First, suppository are another way to deliver drugs to the body when other roads such as oral cannot be used. Second, a suppository is small and may be round, oval or cone shaped. A substance such as cocoa butter or gelatin surround the medication. The suppository dissolves to release the drug once inside the body. Third, suppository may treat the local area or the medicine may travel to other parts of the body through the bloodstream. The first pass effect is a phenomenon in which a drug gets metabolized at a specific location in the body that results in a reduced concentration of the active drug upon reaching its site of action or the systemic secretion. The drug is a chemical that interacts with protein in the body to affect a physiological function. This is the general idea behind all medicine. Once these chemicals are absorbed into the system, circulation, the bind with curtain, proteins and this change the functioning of the cells slightly. The advantage is avoid first pass metabolize. Second, introduce drug into the body. It also can be used as target drug delivery system. Also, its localized action will reduce systemic distribution. Highly beneficial in hemorrhoids or vaginal infection. Lastly, prolonged drug action achieved. Disadvantage of paracetamol suppository is mucosal irritation. Secondly, is traditional issue feeling of aversion. Also, the disadvantage is leakage. Next, sometimes. Uh, incomplete absorption also the disadvantage of paracetamol suppository lastly the disadvantage is inter and intra subject suppositories have three types first rectal cone or torpedo shape weighing 1 until 2 gram second vaginal Globular oviform cone or wedges shape weighing 2 until 8 gram. Made from glycerol gelatin or macrogol base. Third, ureteral. Thin pencil pointed at 1 in. Male bogus, 4 gram and 100 until 150 millimeters. Female bogus, 2 gram and 60 until 75 millimeters. This is a picture or shape of suppositories such as round oval, long oval, third drop, bullet and ten point. Conclusion of paracetamol suppository number one is medicine can get into your body in a few different ways. You can swallow a pill, drink a liquid or get a shot. The suppository is another way to deliver a drug. It's a small round or cone shaped object that you put in your body, often into your bottom. Once it's inside, it smells or dissolves and releases its medication. Number two, suppository may not be the most pleasant product you ever use, but they can make it easier to take medicine that you can swallow or that. Your stomach or intestine will absorb well.
repositories. Firstly, objective to increase students' knowledge of suppositories. Second, to introduce students to the uses of actual suppository. Definition of a suppository Suppositories are solid, single-dose preparations designed for insertion into the rectum, vagina, or urethra when they are milk, softened or dispersed at body temperature and exert a local or systemic effect. Next, we have methods of preparation. Number one, hand rolling is the oldest and simplest method of suppository preparation and may be used when only a few suppositories are to be prepared in the cocoa butter base. It has the advantage of avoiding the necessity of heating the cocoa butter. A plastic like mass is prepared by triturating grated cocoa butter and active ingredients in a mortar. The mass is formed into a ball in the palm of the hands, then rolled into a uniform cylinder with a large spatula or small flat board on a peel tile. The cylinder is then cut into the appropriate number of pieces, which are rolled on one end to produce a conical shape. Number 2. Compressing molding is a method of preparing suppositories from a mixed mass of grated suppository base and medicament which is forced into a special compression mold. The method requires that the capacity of the mold first be determined by compressing a small amount of the base into the dice and weighing the finished suppositories. Lastly, we have fusion molding. Fusion molding involves first melting the suppository base and then dispersing or dissolving the drug in the melted base. The mixture is removed from the heat and poured into a suppository mold. When the mixture has congealed, the suppositories are removed from the mold. The fusion method can be used with all types of suppositories and must be used with most of them. Next, how to use suppository. First, wash hands and check for firmness. You may choose to wear disposable gloves as well. With the suppository still in the other's packaging, squeeze lightly. Second, remove other wrapping. Rectal suppositories come in an other's plastic wrapping. Always remember to remove the plastic wrapping before use. Third, find the correct position. You may lay down on one side with your top leg bent upward toward your stomach or stand up with one leg bent on a chair. Fourth, insert the suppository. Insert the suppository by placing a finger on the flat end of the suppository and inserting the pointed end into the rectum. After that, remain still. One insert, remain still for at least 10 minutes to ensure the suppository does not come back out. Finally, wash hands. Once you have finished demonstrating your rectal suppository, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. The conclusion of suppository. Suppository formulations using cocoa butter require detailed knowledge of the raw materials used to the manufacture suppositories. Second, Suppository formulation using water soluble base are the ideal and preferred. Third, drug absorption is depend on many factors such as pH, drug solubility and suppository vacuum. 
Thank you. Created using Powtoon. A warm welcome to everyone. Today, myself, Pushpa Sri, daughter of Egambaram, and my group members, Noor Iman Alwani Binti Stimanjari and Noor Atisa Binti Hussain, will like to present about paracetamol suppositories quiz. The first question is when should I take paracetamol suppositories? The answer A, one suppositories every four to six hours. B, two suppositories every four to six hours. C, one suppositories every one to three hours. And D, two suppositories every one to three hours. Answer is A. One suppositories every four to six hours because penggunaan paracetamol tidak digalakkan melebihi daripada 10 hari berturut-turut bagi dewasa dan 5 hari bagi kanak-kanak melainkan diarahkan oleh doktor. Paracetamol juga tidak boleh diambil melebihi 3 hari dalam keadaan demam tinggi melainkan dengan Hikmat nasihat perubatan Dos biasanya bagi dewasa adalah 500 mg setiap 4 hingga 6 jam Atau 1, 1 gram setiap 4 hingga 6 jam apabila diperlukan Jumlah dos seharian tidak boleh melebihi 4 gram The next question is when can we Ask the toilet after using paracetamol suppositories. The answer A after 13 minutes, B after 16 minutes, and C after 10 minutes. The correct answer is B after 16 minutes because dalam masa 60 minutes itu suppositories boleh berfungsi dengan baik dalam badan kita. The third question is, how far do you push a suppository? A about 3 inch, B about 2 inch, C about 1 inch. The answer is about 1 inch. There is a method that how do you use a suppository? Gently spread your buttocks open, carefully push the suppository, tap it, and first, about 1 inch into your bottom, close your legs and sit or lie, still for about 15 minutes to let it dissolve. The fourth question is, how do you insert a paracetamol suppository? A. Use one finger to push the suppository gently into the rectum. B. Use two finger to push the suppository gently into the rectum. The answer is A. Use one finger to push suppository gently into the rectum because it needs to go in by about 2 cm. You can use lubricating gel to make this more comfortable. You can get lubricating gel in the pharmacies. Question. What are the side effects of paracetamol suppository? A. Nausea. B. Vomiting. C. Abdominal pain. D. All of them. The answer for what are the side effects of paracetamol suppository is D. All of them. Nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. That was a side effect of paracetamol suppository. The next question are uh, what are paracetamol suppositories used for? A. Pain in high temperature fever. B. Your hair. C. Vomiting. The answer for what a paracetamol suppository used for is A and high temperature fever. They can be used in children who find it difficult to take paracetamol as a 
tablet or syrup. Thank you for listening patiently our presentation and I hope all this information will help you know about paracetamol suppository.